Hi, Sarah. I'm Amanda. It's so nice to meet you. Thank you for letting me read you. I've been feeling your energy all day already, and I'm just so excited to give you this message, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to read your message out loud, because I feel like I need to hear it. Okay, from Sarah. Hi, how are you? I am Sarah. I was born 2nd April 1992. I feel really dumb because I was in a contest to work for the government and they only have 74 positions available and I am number 189. Okay. Okay. Who cares? 189? There's 74 positions. Let me do a little math. 189 minus 74. Five, one. 115 people won't get the job. Okay. That's um a little... We'll just say that's a little more than 40 people than half. I know that probably makes zero sense. <laughs> <laughs> but I want you to remember that you're one of 189. It's like 4 trillion percent. I think it's like a 4 trillion percent chance of being born. You were born. You're here. You're who you are. So, please don't count out this job in the government. If this is what you really want, put your mind and your confidence in this and know that it's yours. And it doesn't matter if 150 people, 15 people, excuse me, will drop out of it because if it's meant for you, it's for you. Do you know what I mean? So stop psyching yourself out because I guarantee you that you have worked your ass off. I guarantee you that you have worked so hard for this because you feel so passionate to me. So even, even if you aren't one of the hundred and, excuse me, even if you aren't one of those 74 people, it's okay. Because sometimes people drop out at the last second and you might be that person that gets that spot of the person that drops out at the last second. I'm a nurse and it took me two rounds of getting through nursing school. The first time, everybody was kind of like, man, we did our time slowly. And then when I didn't pass in July, it was literally July. It was right before the 4th of July because my birthday it was my 30th birthday coming up. And I was like stressed out. But the kind of nursing that I do, there's not very many schools back home anymore for it. I'm an LPN versus a registered nurse, right? So I went from being in this private school paying like three times what I should have been to a public school. I found a public program. I was accepted very last minute and I was able to start in September. It might have even been the end of August. So that was like a month and a half later. So sometimes, sweetheart, even if, even if we don't get what we want when we want it, it's because something else is coming and something much more in tune and aligned with you. I'm gonna read the rest of your question right now. And I apologize, I said your name in the beginning of this video. Um, I don't normally put people's names out, so. Uh, I'm gonna fix that before I upload it to YouTube. I can do that, I know how to do that. Okay, give me one more second. Yeah, one of the main reasons I stayed so hopeful was because various psychics told me I would be able to achieve it and I was so confident. Get back to that confidence. You can achieve anything. Literally, if this is what you want, you use every fiber of your being and thank God and thank the universe. Be so grateful for the opportunity, okay? Because if this is what you want, it's coming. But it's waiting on you to decide, okay? It's waiting on you to decide. And sometimes it's not that great to work for the government. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, so you tried to apply for two new jobs and you have two interviews soon for two different roles. One for a bookstore and another one for a receptionist at a business building. Receptionist at a business building. That feels really a lot of potential there, honey. You are going to meet everyone from the CEO to the janitor. And because you're who you are, you're going to be kind to every single person. And you never know who's going to walk into your space and offer you some kind of opportunity. So even if the government job isn't right now, it doesn't mean that one of these other spots isn't a good spot for you. Okay? Every single one is a wonderful possibility. What do you want? When I was a nurse working in the correctional facilities, um, I had a lot of downtime and 
I used that time to better myself and I've lost 235 pounds. Okay? So, even if it's not the government job yet, it doesn't mean that something's not in the works that's way bigger than what you think or want. Figure out what you want, honey. What do you want? Not what... Not what your family or your friends think is best. What do you want? And what are you passionate about? Okay? How are you going to help the world? Because when you're aligned in your purpose and you're helping people, the universe rewards those people the most. So, even if it's not what you expect right now, it doesn't mean something better isn't coming. Because it truly, 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 your potential is boundless. Happy Halloween. You got this. <laughs>